Imagine, I wanted to do a research on a topic in today's LLM era. This is an easy peasy task. I can go ahead and prompt with the top three or top five LLMs and collect the data. Oh wait, what about privacy? Yes, I don't want my data on the public internet, and also I don't want any LLM provider collect my data. That's the topic of this video. Welcome to Technetics. In today's video, we will see how to interact or chat with multiple models simultaneously, especially locally and privately using Open Web UI client. For this video, we'll be interacting with Meta's Llama 3, Google Schema, and Microsoft Fi Fi 3. Okay, let's dive into today's uh, video. So for this video, I need to log into my local open web UI URL that is uh, localhost colon 3000. So my web UI client is running on Docker. So already I made a video how to install open web UI client on the, as a Docker image along with Olamo. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Let me log in. So this requires your email and um, go ahead and log in. Perfect. You logged in, and there is a new release and there is a release note. Okay, and okay let's go now the first thing what we do here is let me zoom in a bit before you chat you have to say this is a core part of this right see this is one of the feature where uh, open web ui provides so i've taken that feature to demonstrate that that's a multiple multiple model interaction so for this one as i mentioned go ahead and select gamma that is uh, 9 billion parameter and uh, add one more that is uh, lama 8 billion parameter and add one more that is microsoft v3 okay so this is the core part what we wanted to do okay let's go ahead and ask a few questions okay let's go ahead and ask first question so now we are going to post this question to all three models okay so say tell me let me zoom in this part tell me fun fact about earth i'm not quantifying tell me a oh, oh, fun fact i'm saying just give me the, tell me the fun fact or oh, what are the facts we are okay let's go and post this question so this is how it's going to generate and you notice there are three of three means for example each model is working on the response okay here we go started with gamma started producing the output and um, llama 3 still going on and v3 uh, also processing it so everything is running on the same system it may take a couple of seconds let's wait for a few seconds and let's see the response how it is three responses how, it, how it's generated okay okay it took a few seconds to generate the output because there are three models it has to generate on the server and client both are running on the same system that's why the latency for example if you have a powerful server on a separate system then we have a, a web ui client on the other system then i think the performance would have been better okay let's see this result quickly uh this is a gamma's result basically it says uh, the question was tell me fun fact about earth so no i'm not quantifying one fact or two fact whatever you have you can produce output so gamma produced well um, um response with the bullet points for example 
um the earth is spinning approximately 1000 miles per hour the earth core is made up of iron and nickel and believed 5700 degrees celsius very very hot the earth earth is about 4.5 billion years old okay and also it is 71% of water it's, it's quite good let's see the res- let's see the response from lama 3 so lama picked up pretty um, randomly picked one of the fact and uh, for example here is a fun fact did you know that there is a grand canyon of the ocean in the pacific ocean off the coast of indonesia okay uh, it's called uh, the merino trench it's a deepest point of the earth the whopping 36000 feet that is 10973 meters deep even i didn't know okay so that's roughly twice as deep as mount everest it's quite good something different what what i have seen in gamma i mean gamma i'm not seeing lama 3 um then let's see the third one that's basically phi 3 okay it's um, say certainly okay here is a fascinating fact about earth did you know that the average human so it picked up the humans fun fact humans here can hear sounds ranging from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz but this range decreases with age yeah so as we age we tend to lose our hearing sense definitely that's really the fact uh, interestingly sound waves below 20 hertz are known as infrasound and waves above 20 kilohertz are all or ultrasound so although humans cannot use this hear the sounds they can use it however elephants communicate using infrasonic sounds that's awesome okay the response for our science question was really good it's pretty impressive so it's not overlapping however each model gave a very unique different responses Let's go ahead and ask one of the history questions. Okay, say how many world war, world war happened till date? I'm not saying wars. Just let's quickly ask this. Let's wait for the response. Okay, it's working on the response. Let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, the response generated. Let's see. Oh, it's good. So gamma again to the point bullet point. It says first world war 1914 to 1918, second world war 1939 to 1945. I don't know. It was considering Korean war as world war. I'm not sure. And Gulf War also. It's considering as a world war. But these are all regional conflict or with the nation. Okay, that is 1915, 1953. Gulf War, uh, that's Korean, and uh, Gulf War in 1990 to 1991. Okay, so my, no explanation to the point. Let's go to Lama. It's good. It, it, the detailed explanation of each World War. 1914 to 1918, World War I, World War to 1939 to 45. And it says um, there was no, there was a regional conflict. several regional conflict so it's considering korean war as a regional conflict 1950 to 1953 then it is considering vietnam war 1955 to 1975 then gulf war 1990 to 1991 interestingly war on terror that is 2001 to present till present a global military campaign launched by the united states and its allies In response to the September 11 attacks involving conflict in Afghanistan, Iraq, and other parts of the world. It's pretty impressive. Lava 3 is a very detailed one. Good. Then go to P3. Um, world War I, First World War. And then it goes with the precise date, 1914. 14 2. No, there is no ending date, of course. So, for example, here, we have 1914 to 1918. I don't see 18 here. And uh, 
World War Two, nineteen thirty-five to nineteen forty-five. Okay, so and uh, it has it's considering the uh, other small them um, the uh, regional conflicts as a Cold War and the Gulf War thing. Good. So maybe in this case, uh, the winning will be with the Lama Three with a detailed one. So our bullet man goes with the Gamma and the Lama Three handles. Okay, let's ask one more final question. This is about the, the knowledge of the system. I'm expecting what was the last updated date basically when was this model updated. Uh, let's see the response. Okay, started generating. It will take some time. Let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, it, it has generated the response. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, so Gamma again to the point. Perfect. It says Circle 27, 2023. So it cannot get beyond this date. And uh, with Lama 3, again, it is more detailed explanation. However, it says mid 2022. Okay, so then about uh, V3, Microsoft, September 2021. Perfect. So this is really accurate what we expected. So there is a quite lot of things to play like this. So this is one of the use cases just I demonstrated. So you can play around too. So that's all I have it for today. So let's see you on next video. Thank you very much. <laughs>